Sao Sao's army. I'm afraid this castle now belongs to Master Lubu. Please make your exit in a swift and efficient manner. Thank you. I'm sick of you shameless traitors. This place belongs to my lord. Leave at once! Stand before me, you have courage. <laughs> Cousin Dune, you are a true warrior of the Three Kingdoms! This battle bores me. You can have your pathetic castle. Okay, we've won this battle. It's quite a relief that we were able to take back Hu Yang. We successfully reclaimed Yan Province from Lu Bu. It is all thanks to you, Sha Hodun, and Shun Yu. Hmm. We are not worthy of your praise. Lu Bu was our main target, and we failed to capture him. No, Master Sha Hodun. Given the circumstances, Lu Bu himself was not the most important thing. The problem was all of the castles across Yan Province that defected to Lu Bu's side. Master Cao Cao displayed his strength in Shu province. However, it was not enough to convince the people to follow him. Do you agree, Master Shunyo? Yes. The people do not put their faith in power, but justice and righteousness. Much like the campaign against the Yellow Turbans who opposed the Han, or the coalition to combat Dong Zhuo, who disrespected the emperor and terrorized the people. 
I see. So displaying our sense of righteousness along with our strength can go a long way in gaining the understanding and support of the people. My lord, I bring news. Emperor Xian has escaped from Li Jue and Guo Xi and is requesting assistance at Luoyang. Ha <laughs> ha, what excellent timing. My lord, we should assist the emperor and take him under our protection. Nothing could be more righteous than that. Although, if we are to aid the Emperor, we must do so quickly. I am certain that the other warlords are thinking the exact same thing. Yes, I agree. As soon as our preparations are complete, we shall head to Luoyang. Junyo, you're pretty quiet for being a strategist. I thought you guys simply gave our lord good ideas without having to be prodded. Easy now, Master Dianwei. Master Shunyo has his reasons. He once proposed a plot to his friends and was ultimately imprisoned for it. So he prefers to practice caution. No inadvertent words or ideas. In fact, his careful nature is perhaps his best attribute. Yeah, but there's no need for caution here. It's not like any of us are going to turn against him. We were just betrayed by Master Chen Gong. It is wise to learn from our brushes with misfortune. I see. I guess you're right. Although, it all makes me kind of sad. Yes. Let's get moving. <laughs> 